to the GSMC Baseball Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Sam Menzi, and we have a great show for you today. First topic we'll be going over is the Braves' offensive struggles this year, then going over some Reds injuries, Orioles trade rumors, Kevin Biggio being traded to the Dodgers, and the Nationals and Rays facing decisions at the deadline. But before all that, I'd like to ask you to please like and follow the show. We do get a number of questions from viewers, so to ensure that your question does get read on the air, please use the link at gsmcpodcast.net. It really does help the show, and it really does mean a lot, so thank you so much for that. And let's get into the show for today. All right, so as I talked about, we are going to be starting off with the Atlanta Braves and their struggling offense and just talking about it. So let's get into it. Now, before we do that, I'd like to say I do apologize for the extended introduction today. I forgot to update the title, and I realized that as soon as I went on live, so I had no choice but to go for like an extra minute on there. I apologize, but let's get back. Let's get into the show for today. All right, so you can see the graphic on the screen here showing just how much the Braves offense has struggled. I do want to say that I did not make this graphic. It comes from over on Twitter from Brooksgate, a fantastic MLB account. Go follow it if you haven't. They have great MLB statistics and graphics. But I wanted to give a visual representation of here of how bad the Braves offense has been. So looking at this now, they have a 224 batting average since this all since May 4th, 28th in MLB. Uh, their OPS is 27th, weighted runs greater plus 27th, home runs 17th, stolen bases near last runs near last and hard, hit, hard hit percentage though is first so that is important so what i want to talk about here is just why this parade team may be struggling and just um you know what is going on with them so right now the team is 9 and 16 since may 25th they have scored three or fewer runs in 16 of their 25 last games and the graphic on the screen streaks for itself they've been really really bad so what the thing that I want to point out mostly here is just looking at the statistics for the Braves team. This is since May 1st. You, and before that, you could have just said, okay, you know what? This is just Acuna, them getting, you know, into, you know, them dealing with life without Acuna. It's not really a big deal. Well, Acuna's been hurt. Uh, but Acuna was hurt well after this. He got hurt at the end of May. And this is since May 1st. So it's showing that the offensive problems for the Braves have started a little while ago and are consistently happening right now. So. If I'm a Braves fan, I wouldn't necessarily be, you know, entire, very worried, but I'd at least have some caution at this point. I think there is some stuff to worry about, and there are some stuff to think about right now if you are a Braves fan. So, I think the Acuna injury has really impacted them a lot at this point. I mean, losing your best position player is, of course, always going to hurt. There's really no doubt about that, but it's really given them no one to lean on. Right now, you're best player is Marcelo Zuna, and nobody expected that. I mean, with all the elite hitters you have in your lineup, you have Matt Olson, Sean Murphy, Ozzy Albies, Austin Riley, Michael Harris. Like, those are all great, great players. Your offense is being carried by Marcelo Zuna, a guy who we thought was going to get cut last year, and he's having a great season, don't get me wrong, but I think that's a problem when he's the guy getting most of the shine for this team and is the guy that is consistently... Um, having the best hitting statistics and is the guy that really is carrying your offense. It really is not a positive right now and it's something that you should look at. And I think that right now it is showing that the Braves have a real offensive problem at this point and are genuinely struggling. I think there are a lot of things wrong with this team right now and a lot of their regular players are not informing to their abilities. I mean, you look at, um, first of all, you look at... Um, Acuna, even before getting hurt, only had a 109 way to run squared plus. That's not good. Orlando Arcia, 77. He's been bad, and that's your starting shortstop every single day. Michael Harris, 85. Not that good. Matt Olson, 112. Now, is that good? Yes, but that's not what you expect for a guy who's like Matt Olson, a guy who has the pedigree as Matt Olson does. So that's not something you want to see, and that's definitely an underperformance here. Also, you have Austin Riley, who is not who has also been really, really bad. I mean, 83 at this point. That's really, really struggling. Ozzy Albies has barely been above leave average. Like, Sean Murphy's been horrible, and he's been out for a little while, but still, he's been bad when he's been on the field. So there are a lot of consistent, um, a lot of consistent bad things going on with this Braves offense right now, and it's, I don't know if it's going to entirely be, um, can just be fixed out of the blue. And with Acuna going down and being out for what is most likely the rest of the year, you're going to have more of these things. I mean, you're now going to be having Jared Kalanick and Adam Duvall starting every single day, and that's a problem. No offense to Jared Kalanick and Adam Duvall. 
I just don't think they're, these are guys that you want a team to start every single day. I just don't think that's you know, entirely what you really want to do. So that's a big negative there. And also, um, you know, also with this team, again, these guys like Olsen, like Harris, Arcea, guys who are everyday starters that you really have no exact, um, you know, replacements for are very much struggling and might be, might be guys you have to look to replace. And I just don't know if you have the ability to do that. So this offense has a lot of trouble right now and is really not doing well. Now, you could argue they're getting unlucky. I mean, right now, you, you see it on the screen that their harder percentage is first in all of MLB since May 1st, but it's just not translating. Now, I think that overall, this team um, really is really is struggling, and maybe they are getting unlucky, yes, but at the same time, still a lot of their players are not doing that well. And I think that there is a consistent problem with this team, and it is going it is highlighted now with Acuna being out. So if I'm a Braves fan, I'm worried because this offense really is not performing well whatsoever. And with Acuna out, one of your stars out, you're really going to start to really struggle. And you look at this you look at this NL East right now, and it's really tough. I mean, you got the Phillies who are arguably the best team in baseball right now, who have really, really been bad. And I mean, sorry, I've really, really been good. I don't know why I said bad. I've been very, very good. And you know, this national team is sneaking up there. And and the Braves are eight games out at this point. And I just don't know what the rest of the season is gonna look like. You also, of course, have problems with your pitching staff. Spencer Strider is out for the rest of the year. Chris Sale and Renal Lopez are surely going to regress at some point in the second half. You really are only left with Max Freed, who is a great pitcher and I have no complaints about, and Hurston Waldrop, who is a good pitcher, but is also a rookie and was drafted literally last year. So that's another problem with your, with your pitching. So there are a lot of problems with this Braves team. A lot of stuff that, if you look beyond the surface, are consistently big deals and are stuff that you really have to watch out for. And again, I think that this might just simply not be their year with the injuries they've had. When you've had when you had these two guys, your two, two arguably your two best players in Spencer Strider and Ronald Acuna Jr. go down for the rest of the year, you have to have people step up. And just frankly, the team has not done that. I think the hidden core really has not done a great job stepping up and filling in for Acuna's value. And they definitely need to be able to improve in some place. And they just have not been able to do that. So it's going to be tough for them. Again, I don't think they're winning this NL East at this point. I also think that the NL playoff picture as well is, is really not been great. It's really not looking great for them. There's a lot of good teams in this league. And I think they'll still make the playoffs. But are you better than the Dodgers? Are you better than the Phillies? Honestly, are you better than the Brewers? If the Cubs get healthy and better, are you going to be better than them? I'm not sure. So I think the, the Braves are kind of like the Astros where we look at them as an invincible team that is always going to do well no matter what. But it's not looking like that this year. I think there are just a lot of problems with this team that we haven't that we haven't seen in a little while. And yeah, I'd definitely be a little worried and would definitely not... I'd definitely be cautious about the Braves fan right now. I do think the offense is in a really bad state. I, you don't have the prospect capital to be able to acquire someone rather quickly, and you might have to just deal with this for the rest of the season. Sure, you'll make the playoffs, but are you even going to go that far? And with three years of of, of three, and that's going to be three straight years then of being out in the first round, are you going to you're going to have to make massive changes to the path one? I think. I mean, it'll be three years since you've won your World Series. You got to start doing some things to help improve. So, Braves are going to be a fascinating team to watch for the rest of the year. I'm very very excited to see what does happen with them. Very interested and. Yeah, just wanted to talk about it. Marcelo Zuna, though, having an amazing season, really carrying this Braves team on his back. So props to him. But yeah, everyone else really, really struggling and not doing that well. So that was our first segment here, talking about the Atlanta Braves and their struggling offense. We'll be moving into our second segment, which is going to be talking about the Cincinnati Reds and some injury news going on with them. We did learn a two-player potentially being out for the rest of the season with them. So yeah, we'll be talking about that, and we'll see you after the break. So 